Have you ever thought of what the tallest statue in the world is as of today, its location, the reason for its construction and other features? In today's video, we are going to delve more into this. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. The world's tallest statue is situated in the Nirmada district of Gujarat state in the Republic of India. The district is bordered on the north by Vadodara and Kota Udaipur districts. After the construction of the Spring Temple Buddha in China, India surprised the world with a 182-meter tall statue. This statue was built in memory of Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who happens to be India's first Home Minister and Deputy Prime Minister. He was able to unite approximately 565 princely states. He is also known as the Iron Man of India. After examining Patel's sculptures throughout the country, a group of researchers, artists, and intellectuals chose a design submitted by Ram V. Sutter. The Statue of Unity is a larger version of the leader's original sculpture. The statue radiates his countenance, attitude, conviction, iron resolve, and compassion. His coat is thrown from his shoulders, and his hands are on the side as if he is going to move. The concept was constructed in three variations at first. Once the concept for the largest model was approved, a detailed 3D scan was generated, which served as the basis for the bronze coating, which was cast in a Chinese foundry. The structure's sturdiness was harmed by Patel's dota-clad legs and sandals, which made it smaller at the bottom than at the top. This problem was handled by using a scale factor of 16-19 instead of the typical 8-14 ratio utilized by other tall constructions. The sculpture is built to withstand winds of up to 180 km per hour and Richter 6.5 earthquakes that strike at depths of 10 km and within a 12 km radius of the monument. The deployment of two 250-ton tuned mass stabilizers, which give outstanding stability, makes this possible. The Statue of Unity was built as a public-private partnership, with the Gujarat government providing the majority of the cash. The project took 57 months to complete, with 15 months of planning, 40 months of construction, and 2 months of consortium handover. The government estimated that the total cost of the Statue of Unity would be 370 million US dollars. Michael Graves and Associates, Turner Construction, and the Meinhardt Group collaborated on the project. On the 27th of October 2014, Larson and Tubro, an Indian infrastructure firm, was given the lowest bid for the development, construction, and maintenance of the monument. LNT started construction on the 31st of October 2014. The Sadhu Bet mountaintop was lowered from 70 meters to 55 meters to form the statue's foundation. The monument was built by LNT with the help of 3,000 laborers and 250 engineers. The bronze panels were sent by sea and then driven to a factory near the construction site, where they were reassembled. The acquisition of land for the construction of tourist amenities around the monument was resisted by local tribals from the Tadvi tribe. The erection of the statue was completed in mid-October 2018, and the inauguration ceremony was held on October 31, 2018, with Prime Minister Narendra Modi officiating. The Indian statue has been referred to as a testament to Indian engineering abilities. As though this statue is not already 182 meters long, it even has some interesting features. Let's look at them. It stands 54 meters taller than the previous record holder, China's Spring Temple Buddha in Hunan province. Within a 7 kilometers radius, the statue can be seen. The monument is located on Sadu Bet, a river island 3.2 kilometers downstream from the Nirmada Dam. The statue and its surroundings cover more than 2 hectares and are surrounded by a 12 km long artificial lake created by the Guruchwar Weir on the Nirmada River downstream. Only three of the statue's five zones are open to the public. The first zone, which has three levels and includes the exhibition area, mezzanine, and roof, extends from its base to Patel's shins. There is also a memorial garden and a museum in the first zone. The second zone extends up to Patel's thighs, while the third zone extends up to the 153-meter high viewing gallery. The fourth zone is for maintenance, and the final zone is for the head and shoulders. The museum in the first zone chronicles Sardar Patel's life and contributions. An adjoining audiovisual gallery offers a 15-minute presentation on Patel as well as information on the state's tribal culture. Each of the concrete towers that form the statue's legs houses two elevators. 
Each lift can transport 26 people to the viewing gallery in less than 30 seconds. The gallery is 153 meters high and can accommodate up to 200 people. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content.